Hello and welcome to another video. This will be another Larry Sanz reaction. It looks like New Jersey may be having some hurricane issues too, not just South Carolina. Um, this one's called, uh, There's a Hurricane Coming? Question mark, exclamation point. Um, so let's see what happens in this video. This video is a little longer than the normal Larry's Lounge video, which usually ranges between 9 and 12 minutes. This one's 14 and a half. So let's see what happens in this video. After this reaction, we'll need to do two more videos, an AFMA short and today's AFMA reaction, and then that should be it for videos today. Because if Boogie and uh, Kip Aaron Camel was going to upload today, they would have done it already. So, just going to say that. I'm going to clear up my notifications, which is a lot of them right now. Um... What did that say? A good thing I'm recording. I'm going to have to see what I swiped away. Uh, anyways. So don't worry about that right now. Let's get into this reaction. Right, so what is it you wanted me for? Alright, well, they're talking about a possible hurricane coming. Oh yeah, that thing. Yeah, and it might be the middle of the week while we're gone. So. <sighs> Great, so you got me doing chickens, all that stuff, and the whole... Oh, there's a hurricane coming, so even that might happen. Well, I'm just letting you know, well, I if, want you if, the, if a hurricane blows that thing away, I'm not chasing after it. Well, I don't expect you to chase after that, but chase after the chickens, put them in the shed. I mean, if a hurricane blows that away, I'm pretty sure those chickens will be long gone. No, they're durable. Chickens bounce. Yeah, but they're light. Chickens bounce. They're, they'll be fine. But that chickens thing's sturdy. Bounce. There ain't no hurricane blowing that away unless a tornado came. That's fine. Look, th that's, so that's what I want to go over with you. I want I'm to still go curious about the chickens bounce thing. It's just a joke, like bumbles bounce, chickens bounce. Um, yeah, I got grass all over me, that's right, because I just mowed the lawn in 90, and it looks good. In like 97 degree heat. Um, yeah, I want to go it. over everything with you for this hurricane, if it comes, right? Cause worst case scenario, you're, you're, you're pretty safe here, except for tornadoes, right? Never safe with tornadoes. Um, if, you, if there's a tornado warning, right, what would you do? Um... I know the safest spot would be a uh, closet in the middle Put your room. head between your legs and kiss your butt goodbye? You didn't listen to me, did you? Oh, what? I said, I know the safest part of the house is the closet in the middle room. Yes. The big closet. Just go in there. Yeah. Until it's until the warning's over with, okay? So you know that. Um, take some water in with you. You know, maybe a snack. Um, but that, that's only if, we're, if there is a tornado. Um, as far as the wind, we've had hurricanes... Come over here, wind will be bad. We got all the trees down around the house, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, now, one of the things you want to do, yeah, let's go over here. One of the things you want to do, luckily the pool's not hey, Why closed. are we going over here? Aren't the wasps still I want to get something out of the shed. Oh, I forgot, forgot the keys. Um, well, those are important. All right, listen. Pay attention, will you? I'm listening. You might be taking notes, too. I... Well, you know what? You can just watch this. All right, so listen. The generator's in here. That's okay. if the electric goes out. I'll show you that in a minute, but we're going to go over to this shed first. Because right. luckily, the, like I was going to say, the pool has been closed, you know, for the fall yet. So you have that, plenty of water in there. In other words, like for the toilet. Right, you get one of those. Uh, do we sell those, those buckets or do have to get like other buckets? Well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get buckets for you. That's why I'm coming over here. So... Just asking a question, jeez. You don't have. You can fill up the buckets in the house, right? right uh, the day before it comes, or you could just use pool water, which is fine. You don't even need to fill the buckets up, really. So I have buckets in here. You know, like the buckets that we use with the challenge. You have you have plenty of buckets in here, so just come in here and get whatever buckets you need. Yep. You know, just and you just use the pool water to if the if the electric's out and you don't have any water in the house because um, the Ontario Uncle Jeff will be gone, so you can't you can't uh, go over their house because they have a nice big house generator. Um, so you'd be stuck here with no electric if it goes out. It's usually only out for a day or whatever. Right. Yeah, it's also assuming that everybody else's power goes out that we know. So you got the pool, right? Right. You, so you got pool water for flush toilets, and you know how to do that, right? Yes. How do you do it? You just dump the water right in. Right into the bowl. It'll yeah. take it right down, right? I've had no okay. before. All right. 
So the only thing you have to worry about is the refrigerator. We don't want to lose all that food if it stays out for more than, say, uh, well, if it's hot like this, it would have to be started right away. But if it's not, um, you need to, uh, I, I would say, eight, eight hours tops, but you'd have to not be going in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. right? Um, so what I suggest you do if the electric's out, start up the generator. I put it right here in the front of this. It's a little dirty. This isn't the big generator. This is just the little generator. Oh, yeah. I right? That one. Okay, so the, the only thing you need to know, look how dirty this thing is, right? And uh, oh, It's kind of old, isn't okay, it? Okay, see, see how there's an on here and an off, right? Make sure that that's on the on spot right there. All right. Okay. Um, here's your choke over here. See this? Okay, over here on this side. You see how it has a echo throttle down here? An echo throttle? Yeah, right here. Uh-huh. It's in the off position. Right. You don't put that on the on position until you are ready to plug something in. Okay. After you plug it in, then you can put it put it onto that. Right? But so when you go to start this up, you put the choke put the choke on, right? Alright. And then you're just gonna hopefully it starts up. I don't know. I don't know how old this gas is. Hopefully it starts up. There's no ball to oh, Wait a second. That's right. See this right here? This is it. It's not the echo throttle, it's this. You have to put, this is the engine. You have to put that on to start it. <laughs> you don't say. The echo throttle is only for when something's plugged in. And uh, we'll try to get this started before. I might have to pour this gas out and put new gas in. Starbucks Double Shot Energy Drink. Focus to do you. <sighs> Could have did this on a hotter day. All right. Yeah, really. Whew. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this gas out and pour new gas in, and I'll start it up for you. All right. Whew. After I have heat exhaustion. All right, so that's, that's one of the things you have to do. I'm gonna, I need to sit in shade. What shade? <laughs> Yeah, where the hell? Ah, oh, tiki bar. All right, so you got plenty of food in the refrigerator. I will definitely get that started before. Uh, let me just sit here for a couple minutes before I have a heart attack. Uh, I will definitely get that started before we leave. Now I have the big generator, right? Mm -hmm. But that's in the shed. I don't want to have to get that out has been started in a long time. That was just started last year. So we're not going to worry about the other one. This one, we'll get it started. All if right. I can't get it started, then I'll get the other one started and show you about, you know, how to do that. So you got water. Um, and then th this thing now, it, 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 you can't put a whole lot on this, right? Mm -hmm. So you'll run an extension cord. I have the real big yellow one in that shed. Classic one? Yeah, um, it has like three outlets on it, so you would plug it in there. Yeah, that one. I know take that about. in through the window in the kitchen. Right? right. Then take another extension cord and plug in the, or actually take it all the way to the refrigerator plug. Plug the refrigerator in, and you'll have two more outlets there. Right. But you can't put a lot on there. Mm -hmm. So if it got real hot, you could put a fan on there. But the other thing is, is if you need to charge something, like my phone or something, something like that, just put it in there, and you'll be good to go on that. Um, and we'll keep in contact with, you know, if you have any problems with it. Yeah, you'll probably be the first one to hear if the power goes out. That generator there will last probably, with a full load on there, that I would say probably six hours, four to six hours. No, that's not very long. It doesn't have a big giant tank of gas, you know? I mean, that makes sense. It's so all you do is if, it's, if it stops running, that means it's out of gas. So you unplug it. Right, unplug the outlet, uh, fill it up with gas, and then start it back up. Right. And then you're good for another four to six. It could be eight hours. I don't know. It's been a long time since I used that. Um, and gas cans are in that shed. Also in the plastic I just, shed? I just got 10 gallons of gas, so you got plenty of gas for that. Right? All right. Um, 
if the electric does go out, I'm going to fill this pool all the way up to it has to be filled because it's uh, getting too low. Yeah. If the electric does go out, the hot tub. You know what? Don't even worry about the hot tub. When I come home, I'm going to be draining it anyway. It's time to drain it. Right. So don't worry about re because if the electric goes out, that automatically, when it comes back on. And they shift the GFCI on the back. Yeah, of the it won't. It, yeah. Um, so don't even worry about the hot tub. Because, like I said, I got to uh, drain that. Chickens, well, you got to take care of them. Now, with water for the chickens, make sure before that whatever comes, if, if it, the hurricane comes here on Wednesday, make sure you fill those water things completely up with fresh water. Mm -hmm. Both of them. So that that way, they'll be set for water for days. I mean, worst comes to worst, I just drive to the store, buy gallons of water, and I can dump that in. Why would you do that if you just... If you just make sure that they're filled up the I'm day before. I'm saying if worst came to worst. Yeah, but I'm just saying, yeah, but you don't have to do that. The most important thing is the refrigerator, right? Yeah. Get that running, so uh, get that get that generator running so that you can actually do, oh, that feels really good right there. That's and I don't great. think it's supposed to be as hot next week. So I think so. you won't have to worry about, like, air conditioning and stuff like that. You can just open the windows up in the house. Uh, do you have any questions? Uh, not really. No questions at all. Nothing I can think Must of. Must be nice to know everything. Well, if there's anything that I do need to know, it's like, oh, we forgot to go over this. Luckily, I can just text you. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Texting or talking on the phone doesn't really show how to start a generator and stuff. Well, like, right now, you'd be trying to start it up, and you'd be like, this sucks. Well, if you didn't figure out that you said the wrong thing, I'd also be starting it up and be like, what? I'm doing the thing he said. Why isn't it working? Well, it still didn't start, though. All right, so you know what? I'm going to go do the gas thing and then try to get it started. All right? Uh-huh. All right, so here's how you do it, Tom. All right, ready? All right. Okay, so don't have it on choke. Well, you could start it on choke here, right? But first, you have to turn this on, right? Okay. All right, I'm going to leave this on the on position for you, so you'll be good there, right? All right. So you put it on a choke position there, pull it. If it doesn't start, do you could do one or two, whatever, a couple. Put it over on this, right? All right. There you go. All right? All right. So we'll run like that. Like I said, then you'll... Let it run and get warmed up a little bit before you plug something in. That makes sense. Okay. And uh, if it's raining, right? Right. Just put this under the overhang here. The exhaust is back here. Okay. You just put it like that so that the exhaust is right. Should not I put against any wood or anything because that's where it gets hot. Yeah. Should I put like towels under the window or something? Yeah, you mean where when the plug goes through? Yeah. Yeah, I, I would close the window over, like just pull the plug through there and then put a towel and then close the window. You can't lock it, it actually, right? Yeah. So that's good. Now once and then once you get that plugged in, then you hit that you hit this switch right here. Right. Right? And then you're good. Now, I'm gonna turn it off, alright? Yeah. Okay. And this is a very quiet generator. That's it really, really is. not that loud. And that's what Hondas, Hondas are excellent. Now listen, um, if this happens to to get, to get um, what you call it, right? Um, you know what, I'm gonna plug something in to make sure that it still works. Um, Good idea. Because, see this right here? Uh-huh. This should be green. And if it's not, sometimes you gotta push that in to reset it. Ah, uh, so that's like the... That's like the breaker. Yeah. Yeah, so, and you have to keep an eye on that, but I will start it up and make sure that, you know, you have electric in there and everything like that. And then you're set. So, right. just remember, you can tell me now how to start it. Okay. So, you flick that top one over to choke. Okay. Well, first we're going to, uh, I'll leave this like this for you. All right? So, we right. will leave on position. Yeah. Well, to turn it off, you have to use that switch to turn it off. All right. So, here, I'll hold the camera. Okay. All right. And you do it so now. your hands aren't too, like, dirty with that. All right. So. Put that to choke, then... Okay. And do it once or twice, like you said. Right. There you go. Easy enough. Easy peasy, right? And when I go plug something in, I plug it in and then flip the switch. Right. Yeah. It'll work without flipping that switch. That just makes it like it's economy mode, you know uh, what I mean? Okay. I don't even think I had the onion. Oh, 
Alright, so to turn it off, right? You're just gonna turn that switch to the off position. Right. Just remember when you go to start it back up, if you have to, you gotta put it over there, right? Yeah. And to uh to fill it up, Tom, just unscrew this and just fill it straight in. You'll see a little screen in there, leave that in there and just fill it in, fill it up with a gas until it's full. Alright. Alright, so you're set with that. Yep. Oh, I, I want to just get something to plug in to make sure that I have electric coming out of that. Uh, and as long as that's good, you're good to go. Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Well, at least you learned something. Yeah. That makes, what, two things? You don't have to be rude. I'm just kidding. All right. That pretty much ends this uh, video here. Stay tuned for the next one. We have one more reaction to do. And then an app mouse short. And that should be it for today.